Hello, Mars here, and today I'm gonna finally try GIMP for painting. I never did this, I've never really used GIMP for anything else than just cropping images or something like that, because, you know, uh, I was using mainly on Ubuntu or Linux, you know, in general, because there was no, no other choice, but now there's Krita, you know, so I can use Krita for pretty much everything. So I wasn't using GIMP in like, last six seven years at all but now I figured out there's actually a lot of people who's using this for painting and I was always quite skeptical when it came to what is how would I say that like uh, tool management and how they work because it always seemed to me that it's software developed by engineers that they have absolutely no idea what painter needs what or what artist needs. So yeah, it's just my opinion. Yeah, it's good if, if you know how to use the software, it's really good. But yeah, the learning how to use it is quite complicated at some points. So yeah. Also, sorry about the camera. I'm using my webcam because setting up my normal cam is too, you know, it's too much work anyway. I'll try to make this video as uncut as possible, so you can get the whole experience. And yeah, I'll try to comment on everything I've did. Yeah, the first thing, setting up your tablet. It's actually quite complicated. I still haven't figured out how to turn, like set up the opacity, like the pressure opacity and pressure size at the same time. Still no idea how to do it. But I, got in the point where I at least have the pressure opacity, which is quite essential for blending, you know, and from pa for painting in general. So at least we got that one, you know. And also another thing, I have no idea what's difference between pencil and paintbrush. It looks that it works exactly the same. So <laughs> not sure with that. Yeah. And I like, I guess I'm gonna use paintbrush because it's paintbrush and I'm gonna paint, but still no idea what's the difference between pencil and paintbrush. Like, this, this is the same thing. Just call it paintbrush, like, yeah, never mind. Yeah, I'm just gonna use pencil for sketching, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've created a new layer and I'm gonna paint probably something like mm, from some movie. I've recently watched Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, so I'm gonna try to do a Nebula from that movie and hopefully it will come up right. I'm not sure. So let's start. Uh, okay, I think we need like, like a sphere for the head, you know? Every time when you're drawing a head, start with some sphere. Or like circle. It can be sphere when you're doing 2D, but okay. Uh, I'm gonna try to do some like basic shapes to do her hat. By the way, I am using reference. It's just some Google picture from the movie. And I will maybe show it up in some corner. So you can see what I'm actually painting and what's my reference for this because yeah. Uh, I don't know the movie that well, so I, you know, to actually do something. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I would say just like that. actually using quite big brush for my sketches at the moment because changing size I don't know what's the shortcut for it at the moment so oh oh yeah it's just a slider but it starts at so you know like this is too big um, anyway you know this is what's weird with these uh 
this, this is what I don't like in every software. You know, when you do have when you do have these sliders, it always like you need something about you know from one to fifty usually, not not from one to fifty, like from ten to fifty sizes. But that's like the first millimeter of the slider. That's the whole range you have, and trying to set up something use useful with the slider is impossible. So yeah. That's what I don't really like about the sliders. In any software, it doesn't have to be GIMP, you know. Krita is the same problem. It's a problem for me, like, it's not really a problem for anything else. Uh, okay, let's say it's like this way. Yeah, Nebo is such a cool character. She's so angry all the time. <laughs> but she's just a scary, just a scary little girl at the end. I like, let's say like this, maybe. And all these weird lines she has on her face. I'm not really sure what they mean. If it's just like paint or if she's just 100% cyborg now. It's possible. Anyway, about GIMP, I don't really have anything against it. Against the software. I think it has potential. It's at the same level as Photoshop when it comes to painting, I'd say. Like... I'm not sure if there's any light smoothing, you know, or like line stabilizers. I'm not sure about that. So I've never actually used it for painting, but yeah, it seems about the same as Photoshop painting to me. Try to make this mm -hmm. okay. Well, I might speed up this part because, you know, it's just drawing, doing the sketch. I have really nothing to say right now. So, uh, roll the montage. So, we don't have any montage. Damn it. Okay, then roll the speed paint. <laughs> We are done sketch wise pretty much so uh, let's move to another part of this video and now let's see what we can do with some actual painting uh, just do quick little adjustments here and uh, like More like she's looking up. Right. Yeah, it should be about it. She's got like a clip here as well. Well, we'll see. Uh, let's create a new layer, I guess. Transparency layer. Okay. 
hey, I'm still like leaning because of my microphone. It's like <laughs> right in front of my screen. Okay. Mm. Also, I think we should like save it. <laughs> I have to save the file because I'm not sure if the GIMP is stable enough to, <laughs> you know, I have the bad, bad experience from Krita and crash crashes from time to time. So I have to kind of save the file first before I start doing some actual work. Uh, so where do I save it? I don't know. Maybe here. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. Okay. Got it saved. Uh, another thing I'm kind of noticing is performance wise. Uh, it seems a little better than Krita, but I guess that's mainly because, you know, GIMP is super old and there's like a lot of people working on it and they have like a li little bit more experience than the Krita developers. So yeah, I think that this will go in Krita as well. Uh, I'll try a few things. No, oh, how to set up the size of? The <laughs> oh, I, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna just use the slider. Uh, we have this acrylic thingy here. I might gonna use that till the end because. Uh, uh, not sure if I like it though. Let's go grayscale first. Yeah, let's go grayscale for first. We'll see how we can like work with it afterwards. The first thing I'm gonna do is set up some background color. And uh, at this particular picture, there's quite dark background, so I'm gonna use like something like that. <laughs> how do I fill the background though? Oh, bucket. Yeah. Uh, background. Can we use this? Awesome. That's not dark enough. We have to go darker. Uh, darker, darker, darker value. Oh, see. Thing like this should be. Ah, slightly more darker. Just a bit though. Yeah, that's about it. And now we should probably start painting how do I is this the thing I'm using now this yeah this is the thing I'm using uh, let's go lighter about this light eh. Don't know if I like it. I need some normal brush, like what's normal brush? Damn it! This could be maybe. No. Don't like that one either. <laughs> to find something that's like this, this could potentially work. Yeah. And we're gonna zoom out. And maybe scale it. Is it Control T? No. Mm. How do you scale things? Oh, here. Scale tool. That's interesting. What? Uh, what? I don't know. Oh, you can't scale. Scale it by hand? What? What? How do you... What? I don't understand. What's happening here? 
What? Why isn't... Okay, I don't know how to use the scale tool. What the hell? How... Okay, let's not scale it then. <laughs> because... I have no idea how to use it. So, let's just paint, I guess. Uh, we might... Need, like... Huh. Ooh, yeah, that's what I was looking for. That's better. Okay. Just create one more layer. Oh, well, that's a line tool. There has to be no some button for this, right? How do? You... Mm, don't know. I'm just gonna set up the lights. Maybe slightly bigger brush. Oh, it's too big. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, there was 50, and this is what I want to use, you know. I want here to be about 100. We might set this layer to... I don't know. Something. <laughs> yeah, it's been ages since I worked with these normal brushes. What the? Why aren't you working? Oh, okay. At least the color picker, picker works the same way how I expected, which is good. What? That's not the color, right? Like this color is not this color. What the hell? Are you telling me that it can't? can pick up the color from the layer under it? That's bullshit. Don't tell me it's it's crazy. Yeah. You can't always have everything, I guess. I don't know. Can I get like this to be here forever? Somehow? Maybe add new tool. That could maybe fix my problem. Uh, colors. Yeah. This is what I wanted. I want like above it. Awesome. See, I'm learning. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is way better. You have to go darker though. Way darker. I think this dark is the dark I'm looking for. What? What? Oh. What? What? Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, but this is not working properly. Hopefully it will now. Okay, so we can actually see what I'm doing. This is why I always check the recording, because sometimes it does crazy things. 
Mm. Oh, shit. Okay, but but <laughs> I guess duplicate this one. And hide it. And how do I? Oh, how do I? S what? Uh, no. I need to ma oh merge down. Okay, merge down. Okay, we're getting there. <laughs> okay, I have to figure it out to scale the. Uh, brush without actually scaling the brush and because my wheels doesn't don't work oh this works this works <gasps> what have I done come on Ooh. okay this is delete apparently there's also this eh, I guess we can work with this <laughs> Uh, so how do I do that? It has to be like some shortcuts, yeah. It just doesn't work. I can't do anything. What the? Like my mouse doesn't work on anything here. What the hell? Can't click on anything. Okay, we have our toolbox back. And we have our picture back. So, can we paint now, please? Oh, we can actually switch. That's awesome. Uh, size. And we can change the size. Great. So we have totally different brush than we used before. Oh, no, now we have the block one. Good. That was weird. <laughs> and not even like pretty weird, that was weirdly weird. Okay, we have to do it right. Okay, so when it comes to painting, I would say it's just Photoshop level of painting. Pretty much the same. If you can do something in Photoshop, I think you will be able to paint the same thing in GIMP. Yeah, that's the name of the software. <laughs> I think it's quite okay. Nothing like amazing, but it can do the job. I'd say the only minus I'm seeing here is I had no idea how to change the size of the brush without actually, you know, using the fucking slider. Or, you know, the weird slider. <laughs> or fucking slider. Weird slider. Uh, I'll try it again. Hopefully this time it will work. Because last time it was like messed up. Oh no, not this one. Uh, it, it, keyboard shortcuts and tools oh we can actually see it awesome increase for some reason sometimes you know the outline of the brush disappears not really sure why but it's quite annoying
it doesn't work. What the hell? One would say that eraser would erase, but not in this point. Let's try this one. Nope, eraser is not erasing. No, no erasing. No erasing whatsoever. Oh, again. Okay, game developers, eraser is supposed to erase things. <laughs> what the hell? So, conclusion, well, uh, I think it does the job, definitely does the job. It's a little bit confusing, I think the learning curve for this one will be quite um, bumpy, let's say, because, well, mm, I don't know, if the tools are kind of confusing to use, some of them don't really work the way they should, and... I think, like, at the end, it's painting software, what what do you want? Like, at the end, it's graphic software, what do you want, you know? You can lay colors, and the, the opacity works, pressure, pressure opacity works, tablet works. I think it's okay. So, enjoy the rest of the grayscale painting. <music>
the usage of them is kind of different. You know, the all, for example, shortcuts are totally different than in Photoshop or other software, or, you know, the logic behind some tools are, is quite, I don't know, weird, let's say it. But if you like give it week or maybe month of learning, I think you could like use it for professional even like for professional work, I think. Yeah. I don't really like it. I probably <laughs> this is probably the only thing I will ever do in game. But that's you know, just my preference. If you're starting and you're a starting artist and you really want some program to work with and you found GIMP and you really like it, don't worry, you can do like everything that every other artist and every other software. So I think it's a really good one and so there's nothing really I could say about this anyway. Well, I did this Nebula and yeah, it's not really detailed, but can give you some reference point what you can do in this and uh, also I used it for the first time for painting so it's not that bad yeah so I would actually recommend GIMP as a free software I think GIMP works on every operation system so you can you know, use it everywhere and yeah I think it's really good and if you're starting with art and you don't want to spend much money on software and give more money in your tablet or anything I would really go into GIMP or Korea you know anyway so thanks for watching and see you next time